Hello everyone, welcome to a World of Worship Blitz video. Today's video is the number one in the series of Hidden Gems and we're back at Tier 6. So Tier 6 is a good place for Hidden Gems and I think that partly that's because I've blasted through Tier 6 and I haven't gone back and played the ships and then I've just realised how good some of these ships are. So at number one we have the Eagle, which is the Tier 6 Premium French Destroyer. And this is the little brother for um, La Terrible, which is a tier 8, pardon me, premium French destroyer. It's not as fast, it's not got the, quite the same funky reload, but it's tier 6, so it's facing tier 6 ships. It is fast, it's faster than the other tier ships, 6 ships. It has much longer range guns than other, torped, uh, than other destroyers at tier 6. Um, so yeah, so it's a pretty good experience um, playing this, uh, um, so you definitely need to play it at range. So here we are, um, the enemy team looked like it had one destroyer that was on the other flank, so I thought I might be able to rush it out of the cap. No such luck, no such luck, but here we are, we've got ourselves a battleship. Now one of the things about French destroyers is torpedoes reload incredibly quickly, so there's no point in holding them in for the best shot, just take the shot. And there you go. Now I've moved out of range. Oh, we've got an ESO there, which is fantastic. Could it because it has no secondary guns? Are we even going to get anything in there? He's um firing his little planes at me. We're gonna go around this point of land. Um yeah, no, so the ESA's fighter planes are really good for scouting, but it is a problematic ship to play because there's so much switching between guns those main guns and planes is a bit of a work of art there, there you go torpedoes back up we'll let him have it he's obviously playing with the planes now the planes are hardly worth it with the um with the isa just be aware of it it's not like the um well yeah yeah it's not like the planes come off a carrier those planes are really quite lightweight, and um, as you can see, I'm just using my rapid reload, peppering them full of HE. Now my torpedo spreads are a bit wide, and the best I can hope for is four, but you know what? I'll take four. Um, and this New Mexico is going to learn something very important, a very important lesson he's going to learn, and that important lesson is that, um, what I said before, uh, French torpedoes reload very quickly, because surprise and well why not um i don't think that isa is a particularly appealing target for the torpedoes so I'll let the torpedoes deal with new mexico and we'll keep going at the isa um he's obviously um he should be getting himself um back into the battle but nah he's sticking with his planes the planes are great scouts find the destroyer but then once you've found the destroyer um yeah actually rejoin the battle i think um and i'm loving the flood on this new mexico that's just going on for ages and ages and ages i'm not sure what's happened there um and as i said remember what i said about french torpedoes they reload really quickly um <laughs> just in case you weren't aware of that lesson so as i said it's a little hidden gem so keep the distance out now this guy doesn't have any secondaries that i have to worry about i don't know where his main guns are facing but i've probably um I could be uh, out turning them for all we know. Um, so yeah, he's got a real. Yeah, his guns. He's trying to get his guns onto me, but he's down now. Um, this ship out here, this New Mexico. Um, now, one of the lessons in life that he really needs to learn is that. Um, well, I suspect, if all things being even, oh, we've just caught the last cap. So an 84,000 damage. Well, I was going to say he's going to learn that Japanese, uh, that um, French torpedoes reload really quickly, but, um, well, there wasn't time for that. So, fantastic little gunboat. So I'm taking the torpedo shots when I can, but I'm mainly relying on the gun. So just be aware that it is a, a gunboat. It can stealth torp, but at those sort of ranges, your spread is so wide that you, you're going to miss some of your... You're going to miss some of the some of the launch torps are going to go into into wide blue ocean. They're not going to hit the target. 
Oh, six to four. I'll make that. Uh, yeah, is that six to four? Yes, yeah, so I've lost a um, a battleship. So what I'm doing here is coming in for the other side. We're just going for kills here. So this is a real ruffle stomp. Um, as you can see, played at range, the Eagle is a particularly tricky ship to try and combat. Um, because, yeah, it just, it just travels so fast. And it has excellent, excellent range. Looks like we've found ourselves, well, a little cluster here. So there's three of the four enemy ships. Uh, what have we got here? It's a little difficult to see on my phone. Oh, battleship. That's nice. We'll let him have one. Oh, no, we'll let him have two. So that's the... Um, that looks like a Nagato. It does. And that Nagato has a serious problem. Right. What we're going to do here is... Oh, look at that. Another kill. Lovely. Um, what we're going to do here is basically what we would call a, um, a YOLO, except I don't have any torpedoes, and I'm not sticking around. All I'm doing is just out, outpacing his main battery. So I'm keeping myself safe from his main battery by just travelling at such a rate of knots that there's... Um, yeah, and then I'm heading directly away. And remember what I said about French torpedoes? Yeah, well, you got to listen. Um... Because they reload damn quick. Um, yeah, well, it would have been nice to have had them as we're going past New Mexico. But I think I prefer to take out the Nagato than the New Mexico. It's just a much more ferocious ship. There we go. The Rio Joe's gone down. Unfortunately, someone else might have, must have taken that kill because the badge didn't come up. And I'm just taking long-range shots against this... Um, against this New Mexico, he's absolutely helpless and the game comes to a close because we hit a thousand points, which is pretty unusual in that game. So it's a wonderful little gem. It's absolutely a joy to play. It can be, you can get into games where you get into real trouble, but those games that pay off, they are just bliss. And this is an example of a game that is just absolutely wonderful for perfect for this little ship a lot of slow moving battleships a um, lot of targets a lot of fires a lot of floods a um, lot of capture zones well only two capture zones so that's pretty lightweight for something this fast my number one little gem is the tier six premium french destroyer the eagle thanks for watching